Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn please, angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, April 2021 please. Message for Capricorn, one more shuffle. Okay, overarching energy please. Okay, thank you. Five of Wands. Message for Capricorn please, angels. Okay, thank you. We have in the near future. So I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that Capricorn, the messages may overlap, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for Capricorn please, angel spirits guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, thank you. Okay, first card, we have eight of pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. There we go again. Five of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords. <clears throat> okay, let's clarify. Go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. April 2021. What do we have for Capricorn? Thank you. have angel spirits guides for Capricorn please. I like the first card to fall out. What do we have for Capricorn please? Angels spirits guides. Message for Capricorn. Thank you. Once turned over. Okay. Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Ace of Wands uh, clarifies the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords clarifies the Two of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the High Priestess. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords, please. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Queen of Swords is Libra in energy, male or female. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm going to just... Because the Five of Wands is appearing twice, let's clarify the overarching energy for Capricorn, please. Let's clarify the overarching energy for Capricorn. I've got the Two of Cups here, Capricorn. Okay. So the Five of Wands can be a card of conflict. It can also be a card of, of it can also be a card of competition here. Capricorn, um, a Two of Cups 
Gemini is an offer of love, kindred spirits, a bond between two people. Again, this feeling of, of the five of wands, some kind of conflict. Something is, it feels like destabilizing your world in some way, shape or form, creating some kind of tension. And we have in the near future. So that is definitely an energy message from angel spirits guides. The Queen of Swords, she is somebody who is, who, who can get to the truth of a situation. Um, independent thought, independent mind, she'll take counsel, but ultimately she's accountable for who she is. You might be dealing with a Libra here, you know, with it appearing twice, some of you might be dealing with a Queen of Swords, male or female energy, but it can be Libra energy. Um, it's interesting because it feels slightly more to do with it feels something has caused conflict something is causing conflict here she's also a card of balance getting balance back so there's definitely an energy of working towards something here Capricorn I mean the eight of pentacles is a card of hard work, working on something, working through a situation. Now, it's also very good in terms of money career, the Eight of Pentacles. It can bring financial gain, but through hard work, you get the recognition, financial gain, financial recognition, you know, for your hard work. So for some of you, this might be what you're competing for. The Two of Cups can also be an offer, an invitation. But it feels in this energy, I am leaning a bit more towards. It might well be one is affecting the other. Let's clarify this three of pentacles. out again okay what do we have please angel spirits guides thank you yeah ace of pentacles it, it feels in this energy capricorn i mean the ten of pentacles can be goal achievement it, it's a lovely energy of uh you might be working hard and there's some kind of opportunity that you're working towards which means more money um, so it can be that on, on one level. The Ten of, of Pentacles is also family, home, committed long-term relationships. And there is some kind of opportunity to move. It feels move. It feels move for Korea. Uh, this can be moving, relocating, the beginnings of success in terms of money, career, business. It definitely feels this Ace of Pentacles is a new door opening for you. And it's an Earth energy. It's something that's very much connected to your element. It definitely feels like some of you are getting some kind of recognition in terms of money, career, finances. But it's interesting that it's causing some kind of tension. Something that seems so beautiful, it feels it's causing some kind of tension. Now, this is either you or somebody who is the other person in this relationship. Because we've got conflict towards some kind of exciting opportunity that you want to go for. But there's definitely this energy of... There's definitely the energy here of, of something, this opportunity, this new window, this new door is creating some kind of, of tension. It 
it feels it involves moving, relocating, and there's tension around that in terms of how it affects somebody else or others. Because it's resulting in some kind of difficult decision after conflict. So this is about weighing up the situation, weighing up your options and making some kind of difficult decision or needing to make some difficult decision. Uh, something that has caused conflict. And again, the High Priestess energy is intuitively you already know which way you want to go. You know, it's definitely this kind of energy, but you know, it's... it's it's a shame because, you know, these aces feel very exciting, you know, but it, it, it feels like this kind of opportunity. I mean, this can also be competition as well, competing for something, but it feels very much with this two of cups, it feels like there is some kind of tension that's being caused, some upheaval that it will cause. And someone not being on the same page as you in going for some kind of opportunity here. There's definitely an opportunity to get some more money, but it means maybe re moving, relocating. Let's get some advice. Any advice, please, angel spirits, guides? Oh, interesting, yeah. I mean, the Two of Cups can be a card. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, what I'm also getting here, um, Capricorn, is, I mean, the Two of Cups can be reconciliation. So, yeah, it definitely feels for some of you that there will be some kind of, recon yeah, reconciliation. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Some kind of reconciliation here that I'm definitely feeling quite strongly. The mutual exchange, re-establishing the bond. It feels in this situation someone has disagreed or there's been tensions. And there's a need to restore the balance. Also reset clear boundaries because it just feels like there's a lack of clarity here in how you're moving forward. Some kind of difficult decision weighing up your options. But the High Priestess is the path that we align to intuitively, that we're led to. So I definitely feel in this energy. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the way forward. You know, the Eight of Swords, negative thinking or feeling trapped. It can be trapped in your own head, but it can also be... You know, there's this wonderful Jupiterian energy in this Eight of Swords energy. And it's almost kind of like this person doesn't know how to capitalise it or is held back from capitalising on it. Hmm. It feels like boundaries or barriers are being put up here. And it feels by the other person in this situation... I definitely get some kind of conflict. It's either with family or with a, a, a relationship. It feels like more a relationship here. Yeah, you're going to overcome it. I mean, this is about, you know, the chariot is a card of victory, success, fine, going for what you want. I mean, remember the chariot moves from A to B. You know, there's definitely an energy of leaving something behind here and going for something now. So this is a card of victory and success. It can be, you know, it can be linked to travel. Um, and again, movement and shifts, physical movement even. Um, but I'm definitely getting this energy here of, you know, these opportunities are exactly where spirit is guiding you towards. I mean, the aces are very much connected to destiny. And there's definitely this energy of this is absolutely something that you've been working towards because I have Mars in Capricorn here. It feels like some kind of career opportunity here. Capricorn is, is causing some kind of tension because it means upheaval. And you're weighing up your options, but there's a message that you will overcome it. This is the will to succeed, the drive, taking action, Pulling things into balance, again, this balancing energy and going for something. 
um, taking the reins, going for it, eyes on the prize to victory and success. So I definitely feel for some of you there is victory at the end of this journey. But it feels like it is some kind of rocky patch that you might be going through with somebody until you actually see the way clear. But it definitely feels for some of you that you're going to get that clarity and overcome the obstacle that you face. So I'm going to pull a final message. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Giraffe, we have the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And that is what, it's almost kind of like that Queen of Swords perspective, needing perspective or to, to reestablish some kind of balance. Like I said, it could be a person in your life as well, but it definitely feels with that Eight of Swords. There is a feeling of, of, negative thinking or something keeping you stuck here feeling stuck feeling trapped in a way and wanting to there's definitely this energy of wanting to set your own boundaries break free of limitations you know embrace the good things that's coming towards you it feels like some interesting opportunities coming your way and you just want to go for it but it's going to cause some change it feels moving relocating here um but it just feels like you want to go for it. But I definitely feel in this energy, Capricorn, the reconciliation after some kind of disagreement is going to come. It feels that there will be a reestablishment of the bond and you will see a way forward to overcome this kind of obstacle that you faced. Powerful reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.